Good afternoon, y'all. It's Hands Down Sports. Uh, real quick, I want to mention a few things on this video here since I've been talking lately about the Washington Redskins. All of y'all big, huge Redskins fans, my two boys got a podcast, the twin brothers, Big Joe and Big Henry, and the, the podcast is called Redskins Pow Wow Podcast. You can also catch them here on YouTube and on Twitter, Redskins Pow Wow. Listen to what they got to say. They got some great commentary about your beloved Washington Redskins, plus some NFL news as well. The other thing is that I just started a YouTube page uh, since my brother and I and some friends are huge New York Knicks fans. We have started up a YouTube page called Knicks Corner. So check that out. I just set it up today. doesn't have any videos, but all of our boys that are diehard Knicks fans will be commentary on that channel there. So please subscribe and check it out, especially y'all hardcore Knicks fans. So, hands down, sports always talks about fantasy football. And so that's what I'm here to talk about. Today, the topic is Tyrell Pryor from the Washington Redskins. All right. Since I've been talking about the Redskins, I'm going to mention that dude right there because he should be your third or fourth option as wide receiver on your fantasy team. The dude will consistently put up points because he's with a better quarterback and he's the number one option as a wide receiver, but the second option as a, you know, as a catcher because of Reed, you know what I mean? Kirk Cousins, he's a good quarterback. He's going to be throwing the ball to Reed first. If he's not open, we're looking for prior. The dude is really um, understanding the wide receiver position and taking advantage of that because, you know, he came in as a quarterback and couldn't find a job because he didn't do a good job. But now he's a wide receiver. He, was, he wasn't even re uh, relevant to fantasy football at all like three, four years ago. But last year with the Browns, and you know they didn't have a good quarterback or a good team, he was, he did good. And um, a lot of people liked his production. So if you are looking to pick him up, I consider to have him as your third or fourth option as a wide receiver because in PPR, he should at least give you 15 to 18 consistent points. And sometimes he might just blow up because, you know, Kirk Cousins... He's a good quarterback. He's going to put it right there in the money for you to catch it. So I definitely highly recommend that. So, yeah, that um, are my fans, comment below on this YouTube page. would love to hear what you think about Tyrell Pryor. Is he your pick? Is he not? Do you leave him alone? Or you, you just, you know, you're going to get him on your team? Hands down, sports approved when it comes to Tyrell Pryor. I will definitely be looking to uh, pick him up. Peace.